Hi everybody, I am here to show you the new warm pink palette eye color and I'm going to show you how to use it. So I have it on this eye and I don't have it on this eye so I'm going to show you how to do it. But first of all, let me just share with you these new palettes. So, um, sorry I don't want the mirror to get in there. So this is the cool palette and this is the warm palette. Today I'm gonna to be using the warm palette, but I use both of them, I absolutely love both of them. So I get questions a lot of which colors would be good for me. So here's just a quick little rule of thumb that you can use like a general tip. So if you're wearing gold and I have gold on today, I'm gonna to use the warm palette and the cool palette goes more with silver. So if you just want to get one of these um, palettes, then whatever you wear more, but I gotta tell you, you're gonna love both. Okay, so here we go. So already I have this eye done, and the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take that first color in the warm palette, sort of like a peachy color, it's a shimmer, and I just tap my brush on and I literally am just tapping it on my eyelid. Okay, just right across my eyelid. Making sure that I have enough on. Okay, that's the first thing I do. Then I'm going to take this second color, which is also a shimmer, but it's not too shimmery. Or, yeah, sorry. I'm gonna take that second color and I'm gonna put it in the crease of my eye. So I'm using the Briga All Over Crease Brush. I have hooded eyes, so that means when my eyes are open, you can't see my lid. So a lot of times I use the regular eye brush for my crease, because I have to build my crease, meaning I can't put the color right in my crease, I actually have to go above my crease. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So windshield wiper back and forth. And you can see, like I'm literally going above my crease. Now, the funny thing is, I always find myself having to go up even higher because you can't see it when I open my eye. So, windshield wiper back and forth. And it's almost like I'm hitting that bone. Even if you don't have hooded eyes, this is a great smoky eye look <laughs> for those of you who don't. Okay, so that's the second color. This is such a quick and easy thing to do. The third color is right here. I'm gonna take that color, I'm using my crease brush, and I'm gonna put it on the crease of my eye. So I sit my crease brush right here, and I sort of go up again. I'm sort of building depth and going over that, that first color. So I'm taking that, putting it in the corner, and then building depth. Now, of course, I'm not gonna let it like that, so what I do is you take a blending brush and you just blend so you, there's no harsh lines. So it blends really pretty together. And again, I'm, you remember, you see me, I'm far up because I have hooded eyes. So the pinks are really in this season and it's just a really, really, really pretty, pretty pink. Okay. So I already curled my lashes and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the black liquid eyeliner because I absolutely love it because again hooded eyes I don't have any transfer. So I'm going to do this to best the best of my ability <laughs> because I can't see. So I am just uh, putting a thin line on my top uh, lashes. Okay that's it. And, and this liquid eyeliner is just like a felt tip pen. It's, re it's actually really easy to use. So I just put a thin line right across my eye. I don't have to worry about me opening my eye and my eyeliner hopping up on my eyelid. It's really that quick and easy. Now, because I'm over 50 and I have hooded eyes, I am not gonna put any eyeliner on the bottom, okay? So I'm just gonna skip right over and go to the mascara. So the mascara I just put on and again I just learned this tip which is really phenomenal if you have dark circles raise your hand I have really dark circles so I'm not gonna put mascara on my bottom lashes because I just learned that that could create a shadow and make your dark circles appear more dark so I'm just doing the top so over here I just did the top so let me go ahead and you start from the base of your lashes and then you wriggle up And I just make sure that I coat all those lashes. It's like I can't stop putting it on even though it's done. Okay, so that is real easy with the warm pink palette. 
and that's this palette here. This is good for gold jewelry. This is good for silver jewelry. Just, just a general tip. You can mix and match though. You can actually use colors from each of the palettes. They're such buildable, blendable, beautiful colors. I hope that was helpful. Everyone have a great day. Remember how old you are is your business, but how young you look is mine.